some episodes of Doctor Who have a sort of anagram in their title and, you know, just are generally interesting episodes. If you take today's episode and uh, rearrange the letters, it gives you... you... Ah! Anyways, this is Time Lash. So hello, I'm Henry, welcome you guys to a review of Time Lash, also known as one of the worst episodes of Doctor Who ever. Depending on who this, uh, who this? Depending on where this video gets uploaded, if it goes on my love for Doctor Who, all things Doctor Who, or my own personal channel, just want to say hello, I'm Henry Dude Star, I'm from Henry Dude Star YouTube channel, and I do many different things um, that you can check out probably in the link in below or you know just search my name for Henry Dude Star and you'll be able to see all the content that I do myself and also have a decent art page so if you want to see any of the thumbnails or any pieces of art that I do create for not just my own channel but for uh, the Lord's Gonna Play podcast or the or all of the not all of them, Doctor Who for uh, the Doctor Who guide you can go check that out as well. Guide, you can go check that out as well. So today's episode was, of course, a Colin Baker episode. So even though he only did have about eight television stories, um, being that two of them are known as some of the worst in Doctor Who, um, it really doesn't go well on his card. That it seems like two of them are really quite shite. Personally, apart from uh, Time Lash, I think his he's run of stories are very good. And The Twin Dilemma is sort of a so, get, so bad that it's good type of episode. It's something you just want to sit down and just laugh at. You know, like stereotypical 80s films such as The Goonies. LOL! But apart from that, a lot of his stories I really do like and do get above an 8 out of 10 for me personally, such as Revelations of the Daleks, um, The Mark and Rani, uh, The Two Doctors, and Trial of the Time War is probably one of my favourite Doctor Who stories of all time. It is really that good, even though the stuff behind it really is quite sad. And they should they, ah BBC do a documentary about the making of Trial of the Time Lords. Mm, yeah, do it, do it, do it, just do it, do it, just do it. So if you don't know, this episode was written and sent out in 1985, 1985, and was made. Or, or, 19, or 1984, and was the fourth fourth episode in the sixth episode run of Colin Baker's first season as the Doctor. Um, being that it is the it is it gets sort of a bad rap because it's between two really really good stories. Um, the Two Doctors and Revelation of the Daleks. Revelation of the Daleks is a very Marmite type of story, but everybody everybody quite likes the Two Doctors. So being stuck between these two stories is not very good, and you can really see that the Two Doctors did take quite a lot of budget from other stories, as you can see in Time Lash. It is a very studio-bound story, and even the Time Lash itself is literally made out of Christmas tinsel, so you can see they didn't have quite a lot of budget. They used the budget instead to go off to Spain or wherever they went to in the uh, Two Doctors. There's a rip of my coat back on Felix somewhere. Anyways, the actors in this, such as Colin, uh, sort of the main cast as Colin Baker and Nicola Bryan, are portrayed very differently. Throughout this entire series, it has been building up to the Doctor and Perry 
yet earn their relationship fixing, sort of like Series 8 for instance, now the Doctor has changed become a lot more grumpier and even a lot more older, we have the companion, the young companion just sort of um, getting to know this new Doctor and throughout this entire series there have been, there have been a lot more character development between Perry and the Sixth Doctor showing how their relationship has changed. Time Lash completely throws that out the window with them just bickering in the TARDIS like they did in Twin Dilemma for no real reason. If you cut this episode out you can really see the evolution of evolution, the change in their characters throughout the entire series. It's only in this story in Revelations where um, they start bickering a little bit more and going back to how they originally was for some strange reason. If the episodes were shuffled around and uh, Colin's first season went Tackle the Cybermen, Time Lash, Revelation of the Daleks, then continued on to um, Vengeance on Varos, Mark of the Rani, then the two, then ending on the two Doctors, I think it would have worked a little bit more. It's just that, again, Twin Dilemma and Time Lash aren't the best of stories and Revelation of the Daleks is a very marvellous story, so it's the first three episodes would have been quite Mm. So, it's, so I like how they've done it with Attack of the Titan and Vengeance on Viral's being two of these most popular stories. So this episode... So this episode um, does contain only two parts, but it's a 45 minute structured story. So it's sort of like how New Who does it with 30, 45 minutes. The story itself is a little bit lacklustre, and the writer of it, who was an ambulance driver, who only wrote two episodes for, called Midwife, who didn't have a lot of experience writing this episode. Originally, he wrote it with the Daleks, but had to, uh, was tailed to take him and take him out because you, you couldn't have two Dalek stories right next to each other, and also because Eric Saywood had already written Revolution of the Daleks first. <coughs> now, there is a lot of things behind the story that made it that it wasn't going to work, being that the people behind it needed a lot more studio time to record it, that's why the actual performances are a bit funny looking, I was going to say very CPPC, but Sorry to Adventures has proven me wrong. Um, because they had lost two weeks of filming because apparently John Nathan Turner told quite a lot of the cast of Time Lash to be in like a little stage of production for some strange reason, I have no idea why. Um, and so with this story, the Doctor and Perry are in the TARDIS and they're just bickering around doing it for some reason. Some science stuff goes along there. And we see this planet that is very bare bones and very 1960s Doctor Who-ish, where there's like no walls, no set design, no nothing, it's all very barren. They could have filmed this in a warehouse and it looked and it would have looked, looked a lot more interesting. And there was completely no mirrors, no reflections anywhere because of the androids that are blue androids with yellow hair for some reason. I wouldn't spoil the story if you actually do want to go and watch this story, but I don't know what you guys go But then, but we see um, the per same person who played Professor Cronotis in Sharda be this other android who does who's not blue with yellow hair and um, there's this person behind them controlling the Professor Kronotis robot um, who is known as the Borad who is this creature on the front of it that people say is probably the best part about Time Lash and I think yeah it looks it looks all right um, and yeah there isn't really much to talk about the story apart from HD Wells being in it or young HD Wells and taking from parts of these stories because you know we want to show how good we are at how or how much references we can squeeze in there not just from old literature but from new literature. Funny enough the sixth doctor um, was the only doctor to have or at the time was the only doctor to have two historical figures appear in their first series and being that they were right next to each other being uh, the creator of uh, we had H.G. Wells in this episode, in the episode before they had the guy who created the first steam train, Stephen something. Um, it was interesting to see that, and I prefer Mark the Rhino to this story. Um, so I've talked about the set design, I've talked about the characters, and I've talked about the performances about it. 
There's quite a few references in this from H.G. Wells and Blake Seven, because the main uh, villain in this story, um, who's sort of a swishy hair back man, I can't remember what his name was at all, um, was the main guy of Blake Seven. And also the references to H.G. Wells are, of course, the time machine that Doctor Who was based off of, because it has a time machine in it, being the Time Lash, you know, the Invisible Man, being the Doctor can turn himself invisible, and there are quite a few more references to H.G. Wells that you can see when you actually go and watch it, and also real life things, actually knowing about him, that is actually quite interesting, is about his house in the countryside, that all the people from the Time Lash end up in that it's never explained why they go there. They could have end up anywhere in the universe but they just appear in HG Wells' house. For some strange reason I have no idea why. <clears throat> so anyways I've sort of lost my point and you probably already clicked off with this video anyways, but just to round it off, the acting in it is a bit funny, apart from Colin. The set is completely boring and they could have done a lot better with it, even though the main part of the story is why the set is like that. And the story of it is complete and utter trifle. I couldn't think of a good enough word there. But it needed at least four more redrafts before it should have been made. It really does have so many problems with the story and being that it's one of only Colin's stories. It really does let itself down. That every time someone says, Oh, the sixth doctor's bad, they give up this, or they give out Twin Dilemma. They don't say how great Revelation of the Daleks was, Mark of the Rani, Vengeance on Varus, Trial of a Time, or any of these big finish stuff. And why quite a lot of people like myself do like the sixth doctor. Some of them. There! So my rating for this story is a 2.4 out of 10. So there is actually episode lower being the Dominators that I absolutely hate as a story. There have been other stories that are better. So anyways, that was my review of Time Lash. I know it was a bit rambly and not very fluent. Um, so yeah, if you want to go check this, um, if you want to go check Time Lash out, I really wouldn't recommend to unless you don't want a complete collection. I would say go watch uh, Revelations of the Daleks or Trial of the Time Lord first, or Attack of the Cybermen, any of them three stories first before you see any of Colin's bad stuff. You show the good before the bad, watch Blink before you watch New Earth. So anyways, thank you guys for having me on your channel, and I will see all you dudes on my channel. Goodbye.